Yellow sweet clover, or as it's known by its Latin name as Melilotus officinalis, this plant is either an annual or a biennial, meaning it'll live one or two years, and it grows in a habitat of roadsides and waste places. The plant grows between three and eight feet tall and has a yellow flower which is in bloom between April and October. The flower is a small irregular flower in racemes of two to four inches long and very fragrant. The plant has alternate leaves and the leaves are divided, clover-like, and finely toothed. The leaflets are narrow, smooth, and produce a vanilla-like odor when crushed. The stem is smooth. Warning: Yellow sweet clover contains coumarin, a principle extracted from several plants from which anticoagulants such as warfarm are created to prevent blood clotting in rodents for extermination purposes. Today it is commonly used in humans to treat blood clotting disorders and in moldy hay, it will cause uncontrollable bleeding in cattle due to the coumarins. As for the plant's edibility, the leaves are a good source of protein. Harvest the young leaves before the flower appears. They can be added to salads or boiled for five minutes. The crushed dried leaves can be used as a vanilla-like seasoning. The pea-like seeds can be used as a seasoning for soups and stews. And the Jemez Indians use the plant as a nutritious fodder for their horses. This plant has also been used for its medicinal purposes. The Iroquois had a fever remedy for typhoid-like fever caused by the odor of a killed snake. It is said the odor makes you become crazy. Steep one plant of each kind, being sweet clover and partridge berry, in one quart of hot water. Take half a cup at a time. The Navajo made a cold infusion and was taken and used as a lotion for colds caused by becoming chilled. The western view of this plant, according to the King's American Dispensatory, the medicinal properties of Melilotus are due to the coumarin. It's used for headaches of unknown origin, long-standing neuralgia, coldness, tenderness, soreness, painful menstruations with lameness or sensations of cold, menstrual colic, and colic with diarrhea and much flatulence. The leaves and flowers of yellow or white sweet clover are boiled in lard and formed into an ointment and used for all kinds of ulcers. As for the plant's other uses, it has been used as an incense and fragrance by the Dakota and Iroquois Indians. The plant was either hung in the homes or left in a bouquet for its fragrant aroma. For an insecticide, the plant was used in beds as a bed bug repellent, and in Europe, the plant was placed between wool and clothing to guard against moths.